Hello, I'd like to offer you a few comments about <clears throat> week 14's assignment. You had a choice of one out of five articles. Tips for online reputation management, tips for reputation and crisis management in the digital world, Google's online registration management tool, trackers social media media monitoring tools, and seven principles for measuring PR effectiveness. I'd like to make a few comments about your comments. Think uh, for the first one, tips on online reputation management. Yes, companies have been known to pay for very positive reviews. So in today's world, you have to be very discerning. If it's too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. There is today also, because of the digital age, a expectation of rapid reply to customer criticism. I think that's because we live in the age of Twitter for younger folk and the age of texting for about everybody else. A text usually implies you'd like to hear it sooner, the reply, sooner rather than later. And I think that's carried over into so much communication activity today, in and out of work. Thirdly, if you get a bad review, your reputation is indeed owned by other people. And there are consequences. You really have to answer quickly and to the point. Second article, 10 Tips for Reputation and Crisis Management in a Digital World. One of you pulled out three points, and I agree with all three. Number one, listen. Listen and be present. That means don't start looking at your email on your phone or start replying to a text or writing a text when you're talking to somebody. I know that that is a very common habit, and it's really an impolite habit because it's taking you away from the center of attention, which is the person you are talking to, attempting to communicate with. Secondly, be transparent. Don't lie. If you're after X, be honest about what you're after. If you believe Y, be honest and state the reasons why you believe that. The reasons for believing is building your case and not just taking a position. If you take a position, you have to build your case for that position. Number three, yeah, you'll just never please everyone. I, as a faculty member at Fort Hayes State University, know that better than when I worked for Shell Oil or the U.S. State Department in working particularly with face-to-face -face students. You just can't please everyone. Just move on. Number three, Google's tool to manage online reputation. Now, when you Google yourself, you'll discover things. For example, if you Google James Ward, Shell Oil, or Royal Dutch Shell, you'll find, the, you'll find the James Ward that won millions of dollars in a discrimination lawsuit. Well, I can tell you that students here have Googled me, and they believe that. And better yet, faculty members have Googled me, and some of them believe that. So... Online reputation management is quite important, and Google offering a tool to go delete stuff is kind of neat. Number four, social media monitoring tools. It will provide a business a perspective of what companies are, what, what people are saying about their company or what people are saying about their product. Now you have to pay for that service for companies that follow that, but some companies in, you know, controversial positions, those that impact the environment or manufacturing, may well find that monitoring tool very helpful. And finally, the seven principles of measuring PR effectiveness. We do live in a 24-hour news cycle. 
Heck, we live in a one-hour news cycle. They made an announcement this morning that the results of the grand jury investigation in Ferguson, Arkansas, Missouri, are about to be announced. And the phone, you know, comes in with one update after another. So a news cycle now is measured by the click of a tweet, a click of a blog. One of you made this comment, and I'll quote, Measuring the effectiveness of outcomes is more important than measuring the outcomes. You get an outcome. So what? How was it effective? And if it was effective, you have to explain to the, to the communication audience why it was effective and therefore the right decision to make. Well, I hope these very brief comments have given you some insights into week 14 and the choices you had in reading material.